Hey guys, National Master James Canty III here, and today we have another super fun puzzle for you guys to look at. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button right under the video so you can get more content just like this. Like and share this video, and put some comments under the video if you want to see any other puzzle. Let's get right into it, guys. I'm excited. What do we have today? So today's puzzle is actually composed by Alois Watawa, who is an Austrian composer of chess puzzles, problems, and in-game studies. In 1966, he was awarded and honored by FIDE as an international master of chess composition just for having so much puzzle, so many puzzles and so, so such great puzzles, to say the least, 350 plus puzzles that he had. So let's check this out. And it's white to play here, guys. White to play and win. White to play and win. Are you serious? If you look at the material here, you, it looks like black's up a full queen here and about to checkmate in a few moves. But it's white to move and win. So pause the video right now and see if you can figure out the answer here. Now, for everyone else that is still here watching, looking at this right now, it looks like that black's going to win in a few moves. So let's see what happens. How does white win this? I have no idea. We're going to figure it out right now. Let's see what happens so how about bishop d8 check you know that's a check we want to figure out how we can win this so let's check them and see what happens if bishop bishop d8 check i'm just going to step out of the way with the king going to f5 and then we have to figure out what to do here there is mate coming here so well, i don't know maybe can we queen do we have time to queen actually we don't rook g2 check king h1 rook g1 and then king h2 and queen g2 for the force checkmate here so it looks like bishop d8 does not work folks it does not work the so bishop d8 check not a move doesn't work let's go to the next move how about 94 check maybe h4 let's try h4 draw the king a little bit closer then maybe reverse the move order and play bishop d8 or something king takes h4 followed by bishop to d8 check now the king has no squares to go to we're getting somewhere and the bishop on e7 can block but the queen can block. He probably doesn't want to block with the queen. So rook to g5 blocks it. And now maybe we should queen. Now we should queen. We got a queen on the board. This looks good. White should be winning. But then, uh-oh, bishop to d6 check. Now we are losing the queen that we just got here. And if white's going to win this game, it's probably not going to be this way at all. So h4 check does not work. How about, let's try, man, we're in a tough situation here, guys. Bishop d8 check didn't work how about h4 check didn't work how about bishop to e3 check right now bishop e3 check make the king can step off maybe we can queen in but what about just rook takes e3 what if he just takes it and now we have to figure out what to do we have to do something here like literally we have to do something and it looks like we have nothing like 94 h4 and queen and yeah we just don't have anything here bishop d6 is going to be followed up and it's just it's problems it's not a move doesn't work how about 94 check 94 check it looks like the same thing as bishop e3 it's just a square up and if we queen there's mate on g2 okay not working well we've tried everything except queening so let's try queening first try the queen first as we are now able to maybe take this rook and there's a check and we may we, we still we have all the same moves as last time h4 94 bishop d8 all these other moves so there's a queen on the board black has to make a move it's black to move now so let's go bishop to d6 and now from here let's see what tries we have now so we made it a step further here okay white to move and win guys queen first so now we got the queen back on the board let's try to figure out what we can do next after bishop to d6 there is a discovery you have to be very very accurate here with the white pieces or you're going to lose instantly because of the discovery here on the king it's also the queen is under attack so maybe we should try into some lines that maybe are check like or something like h4 or bishop to uh to d8 let's try either or let's see what happens let's try h4 check this was kind of interesting um after the last time when we played bishop d8 check and a rook had to block because the king had nowhere else to go and if he blocks with the queen we'll just take it so we should be winning bishop d8 check queen g5 we're just winning rook g5 is check whoa rook g5 is actually checked that's the discovery we didn't want oh my goodness we cannot allow that to happen and white to move and win it looks like it's not going to be that way so h4 does not work how about move on to 94 we tried this before as well 94 check we have queen takes e4 
threatening mate here so we have to go for a perpetual here or maybe we should try for a mate but we don't have a mate we don't have enough pieces to mate with just a queen and a bishop and not enough uh space to do it in or it's too much space to do it in the king is very safe around his pieces here as he's able to run away check and we step out of the way with king f5 there's mate still on g2 then check again and then queen to e6 as we block we blocked the check here and we're also threatening this discovery if white is supposed to win this again it is not going to be this way so we have to figure this out maybe 94 check is just not a move h4 didn't work either how about we exhaust this option and this is what you need to do when you're looking for wins in all kind of positions in any position you need to exhaust your options and find some moves here so bishop d8 check is actually a very good move let's see where the king goes from here uh king can go to f4 that's very interesting but now there's a, a checkmate threat here um of rook g2 rook g1 and queen over to g2 as we saw before so the queen kind of stops all of this right here and stopping g2 so stopping a mate on g2 cool well let's see what we can do the rook moves to e3 so now we need to checkmate some more well how are we going to do that queen g3 followed by rookie one is checkmate when the king goes back to h1 so the bishop goes to b6 but actually that goes right into the line we just talked about so that doesn't work so how about we stop this square and go to e1 bishop to uh, a5 stopping the e1 square from being attacked or for or stopping a checkmate on e1 so rook to a3 we're hitting this bishop here it's always good to notice you need to make threats in this kind of position this is wild i mean the checks are covered by black here it looks like all the checks are covered uh this one's a check but if i move my king that's check so that's going to be a nice tempo by black so if black moves his king he's going to get a tempo with check which could lead to mate the next move so this is very very scary very wild position we have here so bishop to e1 is played and then rook a1 we're making another threat hitting the bishop if the bishop moves for any reason queen g1 check and if we have bishop to d2 which is a clever check well we step out of the way and we have our own clever check and followed by mate as well with bishop to f4 being the only move and bishop takes f4 follows with checkmate so that doesn't work so maybe we have to block with the knight but that's only prolonging what's about to happen so rook takes d1 looks like that doesn't work either man we are in a dilemma here we have tried bishop to d8 h4 knight e4 queen d8 oh my goodness these moves are not working i want you to pause the video here right now and see if you're able to figure out what white does white to move and win we've looked at everything and everything loses it seems like but how does white win the game for everyone still here the move on the board is queen takes d6 Queen takes d6, mind blown, shocker. Queen takes d6 is on the board here. There are two options here. There are two options because at this point, white is now up a piece. And we're also threatening the queen. We got rid of one of the, the most dangerous piece besides the queen, of course. But it was this bishop. It was so dangerous. We got rid of it. Well, what if black just takes the queen? If black just takes the queen, oh, we have a check. Cool. We have a check and then we just get the queen right back we're doing fine we're going to win this game with white how about if we play something like rook to g2 rook to g2 check that is a nice try that black can do here so let's see what happens on rook to g2 what if i just take this king takes g2 black has this sweet little cool move king h4 check whoa just putting this king in a corner over here also threatening your queen so if you are not careful when you step away, King F1, he just takes the queen, and now you're losing. So we go from winning to almost to uh, losing instantly. King F1, queen takes, and bishop check would be nice, but actually we can just run away. So it looks like that doesn't work. Well, um, how about we just take the queen? Uh -huh. That's a stalemate. Doesn't work. Looks like the king can't move, and we have failed to win this game. That is so weird. Well, how about knight to g4? Whoa, knight g4, what just happened? There's so many pieces hanging. There's so many checks everywhere. What is this nonsense? Well, let's check it out. Queen takes queen is the most logical here. Well, we have a move. Knight to e5. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful, beautiful move here. Knight e5, what is this about? There's so many things that can happen. Well, let's try queen to d2 check. Queen d2 check makes sense, but then boom, bishop f2, that's a check. King has to run, and now we go knight f3. And knight to f3, and we fork the king and queen, and we queen ours, and the game is very, 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 very simple from that route. Well, how about queen takes f2? Queen takes f2, we just take it, and then we just queen. Well, that's simple. 
That's simple too. Well, how about if he doesn't take it? What's the real threat? What if he takes the bishop or something? Well, that's actually mate on f3, guys. Look at this beautiful checkmate. Knight e5 followed by knight to f3 checkmate is the real threat here. That's the real threat. After knight e5, it's, it's, it's big trouble. How about he just step out of the way? King g5. Well, that doesn't work either. This is such a beautiful puzzle. Knight f7 forking the king and the queen once again. Oh my goodness. There's no moves to make. There's not, well, how about we just take this knight? This knight is such a problem. What about just taking it? Can you find a move here, guys? Uh, not many. It's really only two options, right? Bishop to d8 check. Oh my goodness. Bishop to d8. The king is cannot move, which means it's forcing you to block with the queen. And after we take the queen, we queen our own and white wins. Again, every single line is winning. 95 is so good there. So rook g2 looks like it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. The draw chances won't happen for black. We found a nice move on the board. White plays queen takes d6. So black just takes queen. Queen takes d6. Now after queen takes d6, we have 94. We still have some work to do here, guys. We're not winning yet. We still have a knight, bishop, and a pawn, but we have to queen that pawn. We have to queen that pawn. And if we don't queen a pawn, we fail to do so, or we give up a piece, we may not, it's, it's not that clear cut yet. Now, of course, maybe we, we do prefer white, of course, just because of the past pawn, if we're able to take the queen. So the king moves out of the way, and then knight takes queen. Now this seems like, you know, white's just winning here. We just have to queen this pawn. So let's see what happens. Rook over. Just, you have to get the rook behind the pawn. This is how you stop past pawns. Most times you get it behind the pawn, not in front of it. So that it's easier for you to watch it and etc and things like that so um a3 is played on the board and then we have a check okay so we have a check and black will be happy with a draw here but this is white to move and win so let's see what happens after the check king to g1 after king g1 there's king f3 just going for a perpetual here of check and check and more checks and more checks now i want you guys to pause the video one more time here and figure this out how does white win this from here what is the idea what do you have to do now, when we come back, let's let's actually look at this now and figure out what actually needs to be done here for some technique that needs to uh, win this game. So this is one move. Knight b5 is actually a move that can be played. It's more of the same. That it's more or less the same thing. It's just a different move order of how it can happen. But also king h1. King h1 does the same exact thing um, of what we're trying to do here. So what is king h1 about? Well, let's see. If king to g3, threatening almost checkmate, but it's not. It's not checkmate. Well, then I can move my knight, or actually I can go bishop g1 first, and then I can, or I can still go knight to b5 with the intention to put my knight on c7 and then queen this pawn and then get rid of this rook. But if there is a check, which looks very scary, you know, let's say I go knight b5 and there's a check on the back rank here, that's almost mate, but it's actually not because this bishop comes right back here and sits here beautifully, defending the king, defending the h2 square, defending the pawn, and this knight is the lone knight is going to hop in and help queen and take this rook. And then we should end up winning this game with a bishop versus a knight because this king is probably going to take this on h3. And then we're going to queen this and it's going to be a knight and a bishop versus a king and two pawns. But we need to we need to take these two pawns, which will take some time. And then we're going to end up winning in a king bishop knight in game. So we're going to checkmate with a bishop and a knight versus a king. Uh, and that that is the idea of that. So let's see how this works out. Even if we go knight b5. And then rook check, king h2, check again, king h1, very nice maneuver here. And then check and bishop back to g1, followed by knight here and queen. Once again, once the rook comes off, and let's go back and actually look at it from king h1 point of view right here. King h1, king over to g3, threatening to take, but also to check as well. So after bishop to g1, then there's uh, anything, rook could be back here, knight to b5, we could take on h3. Knight c7 is a move. He can even take this now. Rook takes and bishop takes. We get to this position. The final position, this is a win because the king, bishop, and knight is a checkmate that comes with technique, of course. If you didn't know that today, king, bishop, and knight is a win versus a king. So we have to, our next goal is to just take these double pawns, which is going to take some time. And after we do that, we're going to get his king into one of these corners to checkmate with the bishop and the knight so pretty awesome how that worked out here guys queen takes d6 out of all the moves the one that worked let's look at that again in full time after we queen that's the most logical move we went through everything else it just doesn't work bishop to d6 is on the board after bishop to d6 we take the bishop queen takes d6 only move on the board the best move on the board and after rook g2 doesn't work due to all the 
um, checkmates and, and draw things that black was trying to do after king takes and like king h4 doesn't work trying to get a draw looks all cool just didn't work but the move that does or actually is the the test to this problem is queen takes d6 queen takes d6 94 check king over back to f4 here um knight takes the queen rook to a3 because we have to get behind the pawn here and this is an easy technical win we push the pawn he checks you we step back king to f3 knight b5 or even king h1 king to g3 or check bishop to g1 and the bishop sits here how beautiful is that guys this went from like black is completely winning and checkmate in a few moves to white to move and win queen takes d6 wins on the spot i think this was an awesome puzzle by alois Watawa. So, I mean, uh, this was just great. Mind blowing, mind blowing. It, it blows your mind to see like how, when you look at this position, you would never think in a million years that white would be the one winning this position. And it changes how you look at chess a lot of times when you see problems like this. I think this was pretty awesome. I hope you had a great time today, guys. And uh, now make sure you guys subscribe to the video and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video and share it. And I'm National Master James Canty III. Thank you so much for hanging out. Make sure you like, share the video, put some comments under the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.